this cohort, I would like to add gene-based criteria alongside the clinical filtering criteria for this cohort. To do this, I click the Add Filter button, the Geno tab, and then I select the Gene Effect field. This brings up a filter modal that allows me to specify a genomic-based filter. In this case, I want to filter for all individuals that are homozygous for a high or moderate impact variant in BRCA1. To do this, in the Zygosity, I click the Homozygous tab, I select the various variant effects, and I can type in my specific gene. Now that I'm ready to apply this filter, I click the Apply Gene Filter, and this filter now gets applied to my cohort alongside the clinical filter and filters down to 34 patients. To better understand the genomic profile of this cohort, I click the Genomics tab in my dashboard and I can see various allele frequencies along with a specific table for this particular region. Since I'm interested in BRCA1, I can come in here and type in BRCA1 to shift this region of interest. Now I can see my gene tracks along with my frequencies. If I'm interested in a specific loci and want to get more details on this data set at that loci, I can click it and I open up the locus details page where I can see location information the genotype breakdown for the total data set, and allele-specific annotations. Alternatively, for fields where an RSID exists, I can click the RSID location and bring up the NCBI page for this specific variant. Now that I filter down for a specific gene location, I may decide that I want to further filter down the cohort for only individuals that have this particular variant. To do this, I come back into the genomic filter and I click the variant ID tab. Since I don't care about zygosity for this particular search, I will toggle the zygosity back to any and I'll type in my variant ID of interest, then click apply geno filter. Now I can see that my cohort has dropped to four individuals and I can scroll down and see the specific breakdowns for those four individuals. Interestingly, I can see that my cohort allele frequency for this particular RSID is 0.5, leading me to conclude that all individuals that in this population are heterozygous for this allele. With this cohort definition, I can then save if I am satisfied with the criteria and pass it to downstream analysis.